We're here in New York City this week, right on Fifth Avenue, to bring you your latest crypto capsule, the weekly recap of all developments in the global crypto ecosystem that you need to know. And all this in less than 60 seconds. Here we go. Crypto markets continued their revival in the past week, with Bitcoin trading at over 5,000 and total crypto market cap back at, all, at the over 160 billion. In addition, Bitcoin futures on the CME also hit a record high with over 500 million in notional value traded in a day, with the majority of volumes coming from Asia. Lots of regulatory developments this past week as well. In the US, the SEC issued a framework providing guidance to, as to when a digital asset is considered a security. In addition, the New York Department of Financial Services awarded its 19-bit license to European crypto exchange Bitstamp, but rejected the application from US exchange Bitrex, citing the lack of relevant KYC and AML policies, procedures, and controls. On the policy side, the Bahamas issued a consultation for a new crypto regulatory framework that covers not only token issuances and custodians, but also a range of crypto exchanges, including fiat to crypto, crypto to crypto, centralized and decentralized exchanges. And in Asia, China's NDRC published a draft proposal that classifies Bitcoin mining as an industry category that's undesirable and to be eliminated. That's all for this week, folks, and see you all next week from somewhere in the world.